got to set in the back of the car so I can even see the screen. I don't know why the screen does that. Does anybody know why these iPhone screens will get really dark? A couple of weeks ago, we released a video testing whether the DJI Mini 2 drone would start up from over a half mile away. If you want to check out the results, click on the link in the corner. So early on in the recording in the flight, my iPhone screen went so dark I could barely see the screen at all, and I had to find shade really, really fast just to be able to finish the flight. Now this was with dark mode, um, night shift, true tone, auto brightness, um, white point and all of the background apps they were everything was turned off well during the video I asked if anyone had the same issue happen to them while flying their DJI drone and we were flooded uh, with responses and explanations as to why this may have happened and also people that have had the same issue so the consensus is the new iPhones have a built-in safety feature so when the phones get too hot they'll automatically dim the screen and they'll try to cool down the phone now the only time the phone does this to me is when I'm flying the drone so the first question that I have is, why is the phone getting so hot when I'm flying? I think there's a bunch of different things working against the phone during the entire flight. Well, first of all, my phone's in a waterproof um, case, so that really holds in the heat. And secondly, the DJI Fly app's really busy, so the phone's working really hard. And third, I usually like to screen record the flights uh, for video purposes, and that definitely adds to the uh, phone's demand. Fourth, we're in Florida, and we're in the middle of summer. And finally, this may be the most crucial part. The DJI Fly app automatically charges the phone now uh, while you're connected, when before we used to have that option that we could turn that feature off. Well, we think that there's a temporary solution for the heat issue, and so far it's worked pretty good for us in keeping the phone cool enough to where I can avoid the dim screen, at least from happening so fast. We bought some of these little ice packs from Amazon that fit behind the phone on the controller. They make contact with the back of the phone and they seem to really help dissipate the heat. I've actually got no problems in getting the phone and the controller on top of them and they stay cool for a while, at least long enough for a flight. These ice packs came in a pack of six, so all you got to do is get them cold the night before, put them in a cooler or a tumbler, and then whenever they get warm, you can just change them out. Well, one of our viewers, Van P Studio, mentioned this idea to us in the comments and we have to throw a really huge thank you to them for coming up with the idea. We've tried several different methods uh, for trying to take care of this phone issue. Um, we've taken the phone out of the case. Uh, we've used one of those shade screens, but none of these things seem to work nearly as well as the ice packs. Well, we're gonna continue to use these ice packs in addition to the shade screen until there is some sort of a resolution with the DJI auto charge feature. We really think that's where most of the heat's being generated from. Now, don't forget to set your return to home settings uh, prior to flying just in case this dimming issue happens. The only thing that we found that could be a potential issue with these ice packs uh, when you have them behind your phone is the phone may freeze. <laughs> uh. Well, we really hope that this video helps you guys out because we know we're not the only ones with this problem. Uh, we'll put a link in the description for the ice packs and let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. So thanks everybody. God bless. God bless.